Hello there, my beautiful Capricorn friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now Capricorn, this is your energy check-in reading everyone. And what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an Oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by an animal spirit card from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. I'm also going to pull a bonus card for you from the Wild Woman Rising Oracle deck, and then an angel number as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Capricorn. Let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. All right, so we are getting for you one of a kind. Look at this Capricorn. You, my friends, are one of a kind. I'm going to read you the message of this card. So from the moment you emerged into this world, Capricorn, you've had extraordinary talents. You understand starlight, animal voices, and all things magic. So look at you, Capricorn. You, my friends, are one of a kind. I don't know if any of you have seen a bear anywhere in your life. This is a confirmation for you today. So look at that. Now, I've got a fun fact here for everyone. We are approaching April the 20th, which marks the beginning of 10 days of palindrome numbers. These are numbers, if you were to write them forward or backward, they're the exact same way in the same pattern. So 4 20 2024 20, right april the 20th we also have april 21st 2024 if you were to write them down you'll see on my screen here how they work if you flip them back and forth they're read the same way it's just like the words mom and dad you were to flip them they spell the exact same thing so isn't that fascinating i thought that was really interesting and i wanted to share it with all of you so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through for you capricorn we are getting the seven of cups so this is an interesting energy because what i'm seeing is a lot incoming for you capricorn i feel into the month of may um, April, May here is really going to be powerful for you. A lot of choices and decisions that you're going to be making here. Different directions that you can move in your life as well. So seven of cups to start. The number seven is a spiritual number. It's the number of God, right? So um, I feel something spiritually is also happening here for some of you. We have the death card coming in everyone. So there is a death rebirth energy at play. Now this is a major arcana card. This energy is in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others are going to feel this subtly okay so something is ending or needs to end in your life and there is a new beginning that is ushering in I feel for some of you the beginning of this was when we had the solar eclipse perhaps even earlier than that but there is definitely something big taking shape in your life Capricorn all right we have the devil card as well so look at this a secondary major arcana card this energy is distractive it can throw you off your path and you want to watch out for this Capricorn now what I want you to also also do today is to use your own intuition with my readings Capricorn so whenever you see my cards popping on screen I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages so the devil card here for you wow I love this I'm just going to move the tarot deck over here so before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you, Capricorn. So those of you that are watching today, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So intense energy is at play here, everyone. Oh my goodness. So I feel that what's happening is 
Some of you know that you need to make a change in your life. This is the, the um, death card here. And maybe there's something taking shape in your life where you're starting to see that things are falling away from your life. These could be interests, these could be people, right? Interests that you once had, you're no, no longer in alignment with them. People that have been in your life that are no longer in alignment with you either here, Capricorn, so many different things. And then there's a lot coming forward as well, incoming for you. So I feel that some of you are going to move in a different direction in your life in the next couple of months here. I feel some of you are already thinking about this, the changes that you need to make. And this is a very serious thing for you right now, Capricorn. I feel for you, it's very serious, the changes that you need to make. I feel that you have a plan, you have an idea of where it is that you want to see yourself in life where it is that you're kind of aiming for like you have a vision here Capricorn and I feel you're strategizing and you're making plans right now and this is a very powerful time for you because the energies are working in your favor right now where it is giving you that energy to release what no longer serves you but also to recognize some of the distractions that can come in sometimes um, they these distractions might feel good in the moment, but over, over time, they're actually not good for you. So as you're treading through these no next couple of months here, Capricorn, just be mindful of the energies that are at play right now. And focus for you is going to be so important. Now, when you're making decisions and choices in your life, I feel that you have the answers, like you know what it is that you need to do in order to move forward with whatever it is that you're trying to um, move forward within your life here. I don't know if any of you have started a business. I've been picking up a lot on people wanting to start businesses, wanting to leave your nine to five and really start fresh. I feel workspaces for some of you. I've been picking up on a lot of static or turbulent energy in workspaces, work environments. You'll have to share with me here. What is going on with your work here, Capricorn? I feel it has to do with people. It's the energy that's been in the air. Um, I also feel that it has to do with news. I feel sometimes we are really worried about the news. So you want to turn the news off. Those of you that are watching it, I know that's hard, especially if you tend to watch it on a regular basis. I feel there's a lot of fear monger out there in the world right now. So the best thing that we can do in order to help the world is just to come from a place of love. And, you know, I, I mention this all the time because it's so important. I feel if we were to um, step forward in the world through that heart center, through that loving energy, kindness and compassion and spread that in the world, this is how we can change the world if we all actually make a point to do that. It's really hard to do that, right? Especially if you've had a tough day, someone's not treating you well, right? So what's happening here is there's incoming energies, there's blessings, there's opportunities, right? And I feel there's, there's a lot of choices that some of you have to make as well. I also am getting here that there's an alignment on your journey here. So those of you that are wondering if you're in the right direction, spirit guides are letting you know you're exactly where you need to be right now, Capricorn. As you are moving forward, they're not wanting you to look back. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about yesterday. We're looking forward here. We're in the present moment and we're moving forward. We're not going backwards. So as you're looking forward, what is it that you are seeing in the future here? Because I see some of you looking in the future. Perhaps there's stress or worry around it. Don't worry and don't stress about this. Spirit guides want you to release that energy and trust that the things that are happening, the things that are coming in, you're going to receive the guidance on how you're supposed to navigate your way through it. So clearing your mind and allowing space for spirit to connect with you in order to bring that guidance. That guidance is going to come in through inspiration, you resolving a problem or coming up with a solution that you need. This could also be awareness and synchronicities that you are going to pick up on. Capricorn, very powerful, very spiritual. There's something that is going on also internally for some of you where I feel some of your beliefs or the way that you had thought before is shifting. And because of that, you're finding that you're um, changing the way I feel your health, like a lot of little, little things that you're making changes uh, within your life here, like changing your diet, um, the way that you're kind of 
Um, your time, like time management, the amount of time you're actually f spending, focusing in on the things that actually matter to you, where you want to see growth versus, you know, wasted time. I feel some of you are really um, finding this like good structure, this balance in your life. Okay, so uh, and picking the things that are in alignment with that. So I'm seeing you getting far ahead here, Capricorn. And this is such a powerful energy. There's many blessings coming in as well. Um, incoming signs. So you want to pay attention to signs that are in your awareness at this time, Capricorn, because spirit is trying to communicate with you. I also feel there's a lot of loving energy that some of you are spreading out into the world, one person by one person, but it's expanding. It's getting further and further out. Okay, so seven of uh, cups. So introspection is also coming through this card. So looking inward for the answers. The answers aren't outside of you. They're inside of you, Capricorn. So we've got the death card. So as you are kind of going through the seven of cups energy, we have the death card in the background. So this is this major transformation that is happening where I feel for some of you, this is a cycle ending. And a lot of us have been going through closures of old cycles and us entering these new chapters, new beginnings. This is what is happening here for you. And I feel something in your life has to give here, Capricorn. There's something that you know what this is. Those of you that are watching, you know what needs to come to an end in your life. Um, you've been thinking about this. I can feel that some of you are thinking about this. Perhaps you haven't done it yet. But this is going to make a big difference in your life. I don't know what this is. This could be like an old behavior pattern you recognize recently that you do it could be also the way that you're thinking here perhaps you're starting to notice maybe I've been thinking too much like this I'm going to shift this way of thinking like adding positive affirmations in so you know um this is really like you're going to see a huge change here Capricorn especially if you commit yourself to this new change um, this new like behavior, like I feel some of you, especially if you're adding, uh, implementing positive affirmations, or perhaps you are starting to exercise, taking care of your health, your well-being, your mind, implementing good habits. This takes consistent consistency and practice, but by being consistent and practicing every single day, you're going to see a massive difference. The more that you do something, the more it becomes a habit. So I feel some of you are forming new habits and that old way of you, Capricorn, the old version of you is now disappearing. I'm also getting like the death of the ego. Now, I personally believe that we can't, uh, our ego never dies. It's always there, but it's about balancing your ego and your true self finding that fine balance but what I'm getting here is perhaps your ego had kind of taken over here Capricorn for some of you and because you're noticing this you're allowing that part of you and it's not easy it's going to be hard to do this and I'm not saying that this is an easy thing right so there is some sort of turbulence that comes with this as you are shedding that old version of yourself shedding that ego and coming into this new energy and I don't know if any of you have communicated with spirit or I'm getting some sort of communication coming in. So uh, you're, you're channeling some sort of energy here, Capricorn, that is helping guide you. I feel this has to do with deities, gods or something different here. So you'll have to explain to me what this is, Capricorn. But there, there's something I'm also getting here, something old becoming new or coming back to life. What is this? It's like something that died in your in your life here. It's not like an actual death. It's almost like that passion um, died or motivation or, or, you know, I don't know what this is, but it's coming back to life. So um, perhaps this was um, an illness for some of you and you're starting to find that you're feeling better. Right. So there is this uh, uplifting energy. This is giving me the Phoenix rising vibes here. Look at this in the background. This looks like a lunar eclipse. We just had the solar eclipse. So I feel that there's a lot of energy that is coming in from the past solar and lunar eclipse for you. A lot of things are coming to light. 
things that perhaps you were passionate about before and maybe you had forgotten or they were in the back burner here are now coming back to surface and you're starting to re-explore those. So um, some of you are tapping into your spiritual gifts here as well where you felt maybe there was uh, something there but you couldn't uh, put your finger on it here Capricorn but now that you're kind of doing some introspection looking inside of you you're starting to find things that you didn't know uh, existed within you. So uh, it's a really interesting energy. Now I'm getting a lot of darkness coming through this card as well. So whatever the dark energy is, remember that the moon is still lit and you also have a light within yourself. So just imagine that dark space and you have a light to look around. They're wanting you to turn your flashlight on and look around, especially those of you that are feeling like you're in darkness. Sometimes we have to bring the light into our lives. And by you getting up, and looking around in the darkness for a way out or to find other light, you're going to see how this makes a huge impact on your life. Those of you that understand this analogy, I'm hoping I explain this properly to you. So major, major transformation happening here for some of you. Now we have the devil at play. What I'm getting here are attachments, codependency, um, things that take you away. Like I'm getting fast food here, like McDonald's, these kind of fast foods that perhaps in the moment it tastes good, it feels good because we're hungry, but overall that's not healthy for us. That's the devil. McDonald's is the devil, everyone. I'm sorry. Um, but it's just that energy. And um, it, it seduces us. It lures us in. It's uh, I always find that the devil energy is the lazy spell. That's my own opinion. But I always find, oh no, the devil's going to get me because I'm getting lazy now. And I know I'm getting lazy, so I need to snap out of it and turn some music on and get myself back into that uh, beat, that rhythm that I was in as I was working. So be aware of this energy because it does pull you in. Now I'm getting a manipulator also coming into your reading here, Capricorn. Be mindful of those that you're surrounded with or who you surround yourself with because there are a lot of manipulators in the world. I'm getting that sometimes, um, you know, if you're somebody that's kind and you're very giving Capricorn, you, you spread kindness and you spread love everywhere. These energies are sometimes attracted to that. And these are the ones that you want to be mindful of is, you know, who do you have in your life? Are these energies draining? Does this person take, take, take all the time, weigh you down and you're feeling drained? Like they keep taking your energy. And that can show up in many ways, um, that taking of energy. Uh, are they uplifting you or do you feel lower vibrational energy when you're hanging out with them or around them? Be mindful of these energies and put some healthy boundaries up. I feel also... Um, Maybe you have a codependent partner or perhaps you know of somebody that is codependent. Um, again, I feel that, what is it that they're showing me here? They keep cutting me off. I don't know what is going on here, but I feel it has to do with this devil energy Capricorn. But they're saying you need to cut some of these people out of your life, especially those of them that have expired relationships with you. Okay, and you know who these are. I'm not saying everyone has to. And I... I just feel there's someone out there that has a specific person in their life that drains and really pulls you downward or you feel like you're not getting ahead in life because of somebody in your life. So pay attention to this. Make sure you have some healthy boundaries up, that you stay committed to the things that you are deciding on, um, especially with people here. Okay, so I'm getting a really mixed up energy right now for you, Capricorn. I just feel there's confusion here around something. So um, illusions and the things that are being said to you and the things that you are watching, be mindful of this as well. Um, it just, the devil card usually comes with a warning. So you just want to be aware. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's just be aware of the energies that um, are around you and where you are giving your energy. So the cell phone is a big distractor as well. So some of you are distracted and this energy of the devil is taking you away from this transformation happening, but also from uh, some of the blessings and opportunities that are coming in. So as you are placing yourself in alignment, sometimes this can come in and steer you off your path. So you just want to be mindful again of this. 
So you find yourself scrolling on TikTok, on Instagram, maybe YouTube shorts here, everyone, and two hours, three hours have gone by. These are the kind of things you want to be mindful of because the more energy and the efforts that you put into the things that you want to see growth in right now, Capricorn, you are going to see growth in them, but you have to stick your stick to them, but you also have to commit yourself to them. Okay, so powerful, powerful energy here for you. Um, those of you that are seeing the number sevens, I do feel that there are messages coming through for you. So again, pay attention to the things that are coming into your awareness. I feel there's major spiritual growth happening here for you. There's a higher vibrational energy coming in if it already hasn't. So you want to kind of remain at that place. We're always going through ups and downs. We go through in it to higher energies we also go to lower energies and we're constantly fluctuating 5d by the way everyone is a higher vibrational energy it's not something that's going to uh like our physical reality isn't going to change but the way that we uh, see and perceive things at that higher vibrational energy is where that 5d reality exists so i feel some of you are moving upward and ascending to a different energy and that's coming through the death card here for you so I feel there is a big change that some of you are going through and it might not feel good you might be thrown out of your comfort zone this is okay so you want to be strong here everyone this is an opportunity for you to grow there's an old part of you that is shedding and you're entering this new frequency this new energy so you don't want to ever resist this okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a spirit animal card from the spirit animal oracle deck and I'm going to read you the interpretation here on the card. So those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting goose, inner knowing. Look at that. I don't know if any of you have seen geese or a goose in your life right now. This is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now. I actually heard geese outside of my home this morning. And then it started pouring rain after they were... Um, squeaking or what is what is the sound they make geese so you are a brave traveler capricorn your soul knows the way be confident you will achieve your destination loyal friends are always with you and don't worry you're a blessed let yourself fly so that flying i feel this is coming through the seven of cups I feel you're also emotionally charged here, Capricorn. This is coming through the cup energy. So some of you are emotionally inclined to make choices or decisions. And this is where you want to just be watchful of the emotions because you don't want to react to things or make choices or decisions based on... Um, you know, emotions that aren't feeling good. Okay. So the goose here for you embrace goose spirit Capricorn. All right. I'm now going to pull your bonus card from the wild woman rising Oracle deck and read you the interpretation here from the guidebook. All right, Capricorn, we are getting for you today. My friends embrace the interior winter. Look at this. Embrace the interior winter. I don't know if any of you have seen white feathers. Perhaps you're in, a, in an area in your uh, life right now where in the part of the world where there's snow, right? We are coming into spring. We're in spring now, coming into summer. Some of you are on the opposite end of the world where winter is arriving. So we have the number 26 on this card. This could be a number of significance for some of you. I'm getting 26 days and 26 of the month with this card. I'm going to read you the interpretation here from the guidebook. Look at that. I open to the exact page here. So a woman's creative life, as well as her deep soul life, follows cycles and rhythms, just as nature does. Not every season is marked by the rich blossoming of creativity. Some seasons are marked by fallow fields, barren lands, and deep need to retreat. Right now, Capricorn, you're being invited to let go. Allow, let the interior winter have its full season. When, your gift, when you gift yourself the time to retreat in order to companion the spirit of rebirth, wild woman rises. And I feel this is in tune with the death card for you today. So look at that. How powerful. I love this for you. So embrace the interior winter Capricorn. All right, let's pull an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life, this is going to give you a confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting here for you Capricorn having faith, have faith at this time. 
If you're seeing the number zeros anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation today. I'm going to read you the message on this card. So trust the process, Capricorn. Everything is coming full circle here for you. There's going to be this feeling of oneness and wholeness. Embrace that feeling, Capricorn. You are bonding and you are merging to spirit here. Okay, so that's that ascension, but there's this, that's that spiritual feeling I was getting here. So you're a bonding and you are merging to spirit. We got lots of purple on this card. Perhaps you're seeing these colors in your life right now, Capricorn. This is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.